Okay guys, welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. We have neighbor Sean here with his backhoe and he is going to be digging some holes here in the Woodyard Road for these here gates. Now this is kind of the entrance to the Woodyard. I do a lot of my parking of my trailers and trucks and stuff out here as you can see. And then from here, going all the way back, is the wood yard. And we kind of got two videos going on right now. Once Shane is actually still clearing the millings, whether you see, or spreading them, whether you see this before or after that video, um, is yet to be seen. But yeah, I just would, I've always wanted a little bit more security back here in the wood yard. And I came across these gates and they're, they're each like 11, a little over 11 and a half feet long. Um, so that gives me about 23 feet to play with and they'll be a great way to just deter anybody from coming back into the wood yard with a truck and take off with, you know, the splitter or some of my implements or, you know, just whatever. Just a little bit. I, I feel like a gate is a cheap way. It's cheap insurance. So, um, right here, Sean is figuring out how deep we can get because a lot of this was a rock that was put here when Shane did the initial Woodyard Road. Um, what we're gonna use for posts are these two cedar logs over here. I think these will do just fine. I got some hardware in the inter International, some hinges to hang these gates. And uh, yeah, that's basically what we're doing today. Okay, so right now we are just shy of four feet deep and we are going to try and get it a little bit deeper. Now, obviously, there's no rock around here or anything, you know. Um, <laughs> so, I just measured these posts and they are 51, or the gates, and they're 51 inches tall. The shorter of the two posts is 119 inches long, which leaves us 68 inches, essentially, to bury, to have absolutely nothing left you know, at the at, at the top end. Um, so we were thinking if we could shoot for like four and a half, five feet deep, because we're not cementing or concreting, we're just gonna use the asphalt millings and the dirt and stuff to backfill it and bury it. Um, these gates are all big galvanized two inch pipe, so they're actually pretty heavy. Um, so I wanna make sure that they're buried deep enough to you know, withstand the, the pressure of the gate. Um, if not, I can always get one of those wheel kit things for the end of either one, and you know, they can kind of ride on the wheel. What do we think? Looks good. Looks nice deep place. enough to me. Peter. It's about a little over four feet deep, um, and Sean is like, four, what, four? four <laughs> so the, four three. So, uh, he's four three. So we got at least six foot of post coming out of the ground. Now, uh, we, we should have about five feet, six six feet of, of post coming out of the ground, about five and a half, six. So uh, that should be more than enough. <laughs> it's, that, it's that Napoleonic complex, right? So guys, I am here holding the post and Sean is going to knock some material down in to try and get it so that it'll stand on its own. Here, oh, here's a big rock. Boom. Okay guys, so we roughed that pole in. Now Sean is gonna come over here and the smiley face that he <laughs> drew in the asphalt millings is where we're shooting for the post to go. Um, we really don't, I, I kind of lucked out on the length of these things and the length of the, or the width of the road because we really don't have much room for uh, wiggle room. These, these gates are, are like literally the perfect size. Um, so with the dump gods once again were, uh, were shining down on me. So hopefully he can dig it out here and it's not too bad and we can get these gates up.
It's leaning this way. Too much. Too much. Got the second post in and roughly, you know, like leveled, eyeballed it kind of. It's hard working with, uh, you know, posts like this because they all have taper. You can't really use a, a level. Um, so we're just kind of eyeballing it. But Sean tamped it down with the bucket and I just brought the tractor over with my front end loader bucket and he's just gonna clean up this hole a little bit and tamp it down. But we did do a measure and we needed 24 four inches, we estimated, uh, between the gap in the two gates and the hardware and stuff. And uh, we were <laughs> came in at 24 foot three inches somehow. So uh, we definitely don't know what we're doing, but faking it till we make it. Okay guys, I just did some quick cleanup here with the tractor and the shovel and rake. We got two posts in the ground. Um, they are surprisingly solid. I haven't shaken, yeah, like, this thing's not, <laughs> it's not moving. Um, this one doesn't move either. Um, again, they're buried like four and a half feet down, so. That's pretty good. Um, we are going to have to get the hardware on maybe tomorrow or this weekend. I got uh, <clears throat> got these big, you know, lag bolts. They're like three quarter. Probably drill them out. Um, pilot hole first, and then send those puppies home. And these are the hinges. I got three here and one that I test fit over on the gate. So. We will get back. Okay, so there's the first one, and I'm leaving it like three threads out just so that I still have a little bit of adjustment in and out. I'm gonna do the same for this one. I did the one on the bottom first. That way when I go to drill the one on the top, I can kind of see and eyeball it. Like my dot is right there for the height, but I wanna try and eyeball it and you know get it perfectly. Well, not perfectly, but as close as possible to being in line, you know, plumb. So let's try that.
about three threads sticking out still. Um, so now I can try and actually hang the gate and uh, see how we do. Let's bottom one on first. on the tractor for this. looks pretty darn good to me. I don't know about you guys, but uh, geez. <laughs> Swinging on everything. I mean, if I walk back here, it even looks pretty darn level. So, let's see. <laughs> no way. We are dead nuts. I mean, according to the iPhone level, but if, so, if, if, if something that is digital is saying that this is level, I'm gonna take it. That is amazing. Oh. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Wow. Now, what I'm hoping is that the offset I accounted for with the gate or with the hinges, the hardware actually matches up to what I accounted for. Now, I accounted for about a three inch offset. And yeah, we are right at three inch, like really three and a half. So I think if we do the same thing over on the other side, we should be in business. Um, that is pretty awesome. <laughs> came by with a box and uh, there's something in here that I think you guys will actually think is pretty cool. Um, my neighbor has an, I think it's called an Etsy store on the website Etsy and she does, uh, you know, like different crafts and stuff online. Um, but what she specifically does is glass etching. Um, and she was nice enough to make me a bunch of these Dude Ranch DIY 
glasses with one of my logos on it. Um, this is pretty cool. And uh, we had talked about it a while ago and she just came by and said that she had kept meaning to bring them by um, and give to me. So this is really cool. Um, I don't know if you guys would be interested in something like this or you know a design of your own, but I will find out the website that she has. And uh, I'm pretty sure you can just like upload whatever your logo would be or whatever you would want on it and she can put it on all different types of glasses these are like pint glasses i think you could do like high ball glasses low ball glasses all, all different stuff um so this is really cool um very appreciative of this i think there's enough in there to uh keep chris and i busy and uh, maybe even justin mr utility when he uh shows up in the next video so very cool Okay, so let me show you guys what is going on here with the camera back a bit. So basically, we are, we're a little off. Now, this one could come up or this one could come down, but I think the issue here is that my, well, see the issue here there's a couple issues. One, this one swings. So I'm not really sure why that's swinging. I suppose it's because the post isn't straight. So maybe I should hit it with the tractor a little bit. Actually, looking at it from here, it's not straight at all. So let me try and hit it with the tractor and see if that does anything. And by hit, I mean very gently tap. Because this one, you know, you put it here, yeah, it moves a little bit, but, but not much at all. So this one's pretty, pretty darn straight. Looks like it's even higher now. Yeah. Which I guess. I mean, like, there, the spacing is perfect. I think it's because of the taper of these lag bolts. So I, I, I think I gotta put. Just keep sucking the bottom one in because I really don't I have one two three four five six threads on this top one out and I don't really feel comfortable taking it out anymore to drop that down so I'm thinking if I suck in the bottom a little bit maybe it'll it'll be a little bit better so let's try that it seems like all of this could be avoided if you don't use tree trunks as your gate posts. But in the name of Dude Ranch DIY, we're not making things easy. Now, I don't really know how much more I can go in on the bottom due to I need to leave some width for the hinge itself. Okay, let's try this. Oh, they are close. They really are. now it even stays put it's almost like if I 
jump on it a bit. Oh, look at that. Aha. Uh -huh. It's almost like the post wasn't level, and now I'm noticing that this cap isn't on all the way. OCD is getting the best of me on this one, but uh, I'd, say, <laughs> I'd say that's pretty darn good. It's this stupid cap that's popped up. It's not letting it be even, but I mean, guys, look at the bottom there. And look, they don't even, they don't even touch. They don't even touch. <laughs> Guys, look at this. I mean, look at that. If this, if this darn cap, I'm gonna have to get a new cap because I can't live with that. If that cap looked was in the same shape as this, it would, it would be level. I mean, look at the difference. We're talking maybe a quarter of an inch on the bottom, and these poles are definitely still gonna settle a bit. They don't touch in the middle. Look at that. Boom. I'm calling it. That, <laughs> that is a win. And also notice that both gates are not swinging, moving anywhere. I put them here. All right, well, they're moving a little bit, but not much. I mean, that is pretty darn good. Okay, now this first one was dead nuts zero before. All right, so we are at negative one degree offset. Oh, now we're at zero, one degree. I'll take that. And this one, two, one, one degree. I'll take that as well. All right, guys, I just actually went out to the hardware store um, to pick up a line level because I didn't have a line level and I want to cut these posts at, you know, an even height. And because of the pitch and grade difference here, this whole thing kind of slopes this way a little bit. Um, I just wasn't going to be able to do it, you know, measuring. But while I was there, I picked up uh, just a new level simply because I don't know where the one that I have is I have a small one out in the wood yard, but my bigger one, I'm not quite sure where it is. And this is showing the bubble is a little bit this way. So, you know, it's, it's still a little bit high, which we know. Um, whereas this one is, this one's like almost dead on the money. Like the bubble is within the second outside line. So pretty darn close for just eyeballing everything. Um, so that's great. Now I'm going to take the line level and tie this end to the top of that post, shoot it across. Hopefully we get a straight line and we can cut this post um, at the necessary height. I guess the, I don't know. Okay, so I guess standing back, the issue is, is that this side is lower and this side is higher. So this distance to be level is gonna be a lot longer than that distance. So visually, yes, it's level, but also visually, it doesn't look level or it doesn't look the same because from here to here is 23 inches. And from the top of the post to here, oh, well, okay, 22 and a half. <laughs> so I guess that is pretty darn even. Um, I mean, this is very close. Yeah, okay. I'm calling that good.
we are within a half inch difference. Nobody is going to see that. Probably easier than anything is just repetitive tapping on it with a tractor. Just mo well, I yeah, think they're going to move <laughs> just settling anyway. Yeah. You know, I figure they're going to move, but yeah, just push on it a little bit, maybe shimming it with a rock or something. Yeah. But for, for, and also, Definitely. mind you, look at the J hooks. The 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 way that they're facing. I see you. <laughs> I've watched a couple videos last night. I see you. It's, I guess it's the same. It looks like maybe it'd be harder to measure it even. It 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 really it's the same thing. And all I did was put the bottom one on first, yeah. and then I came with the tractor over there, and slowly lifted it up until you know this was sliding until I could get this on, and then held it in place and hit it with the power ratchet. But I well, I was surprised at how easy it was. I, I can't believe we got that all done. We we home today or no? No, Damn. I came. I went to the DMV, tried to register that trailer, got rejected because. So on the DMV website it says you do not need a title if the trailer weighs under three thousand pounds. Okay. So right. Okay. So you take that for what it is. I go, hand her my bill of sale, hand her the registration application form. She, oh, the GVW of this is 14,000 pounds. That's over 3,000, you need a title. And I said, no ma'am, but on the website it said that, you know, if the trailer weighs less than 3,000 pounds, you don't need a title. She said, right, it's 14,000. I said, that's not the trailer's weight. That's the trailer's weight with a load. Yeah, that's what that means. I said, that's not what the website says. Am I wrong? Doesn't matter. The trailer, well, she said, <laughs> it doesn't matter how you interpret the language. And I said, it's not me, in, uh, to myself, it's not me interpreting this. This is what language. this means. That's what language is. Words have a meaning, and these words put together in this order me have this meaning. <laughs> You're not a good fit for DMV. But like they're not even swinging back and forth, you know. They just sit here. Just dumbass, dumbass luck. So you know, like you said, if you don't like to swing, tilt to post. Right. Whatever way. But no, I want them like this, and then I figure maybe I'll put, I maybe I will drill into the rock or something and put like a little to thing it? to keep the gate, yeah. And then maybe yeah, I don't know something like up. Maybe I'll sink a little oh, post in up there. They're Man. big now. They're big. They're big. Oh yeah, I, they look a lot bigger when you step back and you see both of them, right? They even have the antique kind of cool reflectors. <laughs> the reflectors. I love the fact that they're missing different ones on each side. I saw. I couldn't. When I first. You gotta clean them off. I saw how tight these were. Like that can't be planned. That's just a dumbass right. at work. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like they, it's I was I just kept going back and forth and what, and then they get closer and then they go away. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. That's how it works. That's how it works. So, it would be cool to get like a sign that said like the logo or something on the front. Yeah. But it's also cool to have these old reflective things. I gotta gotta hose these off. These dogs and the, 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 the fans will love it. I think it'll be good. Okay. Hopefully they uh they like the video. But I got a I'm supposed to be walking the dog for sure. All right. Thanks again for it's the just help. Do any minute. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that works. Man. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, the only thing left to do is to cut this post. Um I made a couple marks here. And uh, I'm gonna basically just lop it off. And the one thing I do wanna do is put it at a slight pitch. That way any water that runs on it is going to you know, gently slope off. And just the way that that post over there was cut, it's angled in. So I'm gonna make this one angled in.
Cool. I think that is just about perfect. So, stepping back. Taking a look. I think that is <laughs> pretty darn good. If I do say so myself. Well guys, I guess that's gonna be about it. There's only one real thing left to do, and that is put this big old chain and big old padlock on the gate to uh, secure it up, I guess. Um, so thanks all for uh, watching. <laughs> I, uh, I haven't done anything like this before. And as you could see with our little brief conversation there with Sean, uh, he was pretty surprised that it came out as good as it did. Um, just as much as I was, so. Uh, that being said, um, we will throw this chain on and hopefully it is long enough to fit. Now, I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna keep this type of lock or put a padlock on with like a, a combo or something. That way, different people can have the combination but just like that, I guess it doesn't need to be any tighter than this. And there we go. Woodyard is secure. Well, all right, guys, that's gonna wrap this one up. Uh, thanks again for watching, really appreciate it. This turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Um, I'm not gonna jinx it by saying it was easy in case I ever have to hang another gate in the future, but I think these two are gonna be plenty for the time being, and I think they should serve their purpose pretty well. So uh, as always, guys, if you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Really help out the channel. Um, any questions, comments, or feedback on what we did here today, let me know in the comments down below. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.